If you've been chasing money, then you've been doing it all wrong. It sounds almost paradoxical, but if you want money, it isn't money that you should be looking for, you should be looking for problems and more importantly, solutions to those problems. And once you found that solution, make a business around it. Let this circle represent one million dollars. This is what $10 million would look like. This is what $100 million would look like. And this is what $1 billion would look like. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, has a net worth of 117 times this number. And then, there's you. You're probably working a job right now. One that you got from the degree that you studied for in university. You probably don't have much in savings. Your living expenses seem ridiculously high. You feel as though you're not paid enough salary. Are you with me? How did they do it, you ask? That all seems like a distant dream. How did they do it? You ask yourself seeing all those millionaires, billionaires, especially the ones who got there at such a young age. It baffles you. It makes you angry they got lucky and you're not smart enough. And you are not just lucky. Those dreams you had of buying that mansion, your favorite sports car, paying off your mortgage, traveling around the world, that they will forever remain just dreams. But I warn you, the road is tough. It's filled with struggle. It's filled with ups and downs. It will need swallowing some difficult roofs of the school, system, and society. There are many of you who will not make it to the end of this road. But for those of you that do, at the end of this road lies wealth beyond your expectation. Beyond that road lies the freedom of never having to worry about money again. Are you with me? Still with me? Then let's not waste any more time. We will explore the five new wealth equations, how you can find your millions. Number one, old equation. The fact that your school didn't teach you much about this subject doesn't help things. And because of this, most of you are going to have false beliefs about money that aren't going to help you on. You think of money as, that is something you work for, something you earned, or something inherited, and something the root cause of all evil? Are you desperate to have more of it? Have you been chasing it most of your life? Truth is most of what you think about money has been influenced by your upbringing and environment. If you were born into a family that didn't have much money growing up, then you're more inclined to believe that you will not grow up to have much money. All commercial movies are depicting the wealthy and rich as evil, backstabbing and corrupt individuals. Recent report says the world's ultra wealthy had a net worth of 30 million or more, and 68% of them were self-made. Warren Buffett's self-made billionaire, Howard Schultz born in poverty, Oprah Winfrey born in poverty, Jeff Bezos self-made billionaire, Elon Musk self-made billionaire, Sarah Blakely self-made billionaire. What is that? These billionaires know that you are missing. Simple. You've been taught two-dimensional equation that money equals salary earned from a job all along. So what's wrong with that, you may ask? Time! If you earned $20 an hour and worked 40 hours a week, it would take you nearly 24 years to reach a total of $1 million. You can only really be a millionaire at an old age by living frugally and most of that precious resource of time has slipped through your fingers. 
You traded all that time for money, and it wasn't even a substantial amount either. It means you live poor and retire rich. Number two, new equation. The people who perceive your value is the market, and you are paid proportionately. That is the new equation. You may complain that game players, actors, lawyers, doctors are overpaid. But the people and the market is seeing the value in their performance and services. It's not about how hard you work. The sweating cleaner tiring himself out every day is paid far less than the accountant. Cleaner can be replaced by anybody. It isn't difficult to learn how to do his job. And therefore the market will not pay him more than the accountant, the guy who spent years studying numbers. What is it about? The first step to this equation of wealth is quite simple. If you want money as per the new equation, you need to solve people problems. Just solve the people problems and money will appear. So I'm going to have to create the next Amazon for me to be rich or the next Facebook or Google. Listen to the market around you. What are people saying they don't like? What are people saying they wish existed? What are people saying frustrates them? What do people think is incredibly inconvenient? These are the problems around which you need to build a business solution. Number three, scalable equation. This equation to wealth is finding a scalable solution to the problem. Your solution needs to benefit a majority of people. Starting a restaurant is not scalable. You're restricted to the local area only with the limited footfall. And your physical presence is required all the time. But a franchise is more scalable. In the case of software business, once that software has been built you can scale it infinitely online without your needing to worry about production or shipping as it's all done virtually without your physical presence. Not about what you're passionate about. The market doesn't care about your passions. So now that you have your profitable business running with the right systems and processes in place, it's time to move on and reap what you sow. Number four, combined equation. Your company comes to maturity. Since you built the business, you can choose to continue running your business and stick with your baby because you love the company or that business runs passively in the background so you don't have to do much to keep the wheels turning. Otherwise, you can add more value to the company and sell it down the line for more than it's currently worth. Or maybe it's a combination of these three things. Either way you did it. You solved the problem that the market wanted solving and it rewarded you favorably for doing so. Number five, freedom equation. Paying off the mortgage, buying your dream car, traveling around the world, no worries about your financial situation is not the aim of this video. It's the freedom that you are looking for. And a freedom feeling sensation is the goal. The ability to do what you want, whenever you wanted, without worrying the affordability. The most important lesson from this video is never about the nature of money. It is about the one valuable resource of time which you cannot reclaim. Hi, I could hear you saying, forget it. I am a consumer. Whatever I want, I am getting it from the market. As long as there are Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, no worry. They will take care of the humanity. Well, if your life is centered on working, coming home, watching the TV, sleeping, and waking up the next day, and repeating the same cycle till you retire, many more hours of your life will slip through because of this pattern. 
Perhaps you are fine with that. Reminding as a consumer is your choice. But I think for a while, if Bill Gates, Mark and others also chose to remind as consumer, what will be there to consume? Think, but there are some ambitious wanting to become the next Bill Gates, Jim Bezos, Elon Musk. If so, I feel the need to remind you, stop chasing money. Chase problems and find the solution to those problems. This is the equation through which all money is found if you desire. Of course, please chase Rich Dad channel for such wisdom inputs. Thanks for watching.